Welcome, this is Dr. Amanda Rockinson Zapq, and in this tutorial, we are going to run a one-way MANOVA using SPSS. We're going to run a one-way MANOVA, including the follow-up univariate analyses. We will not, however, perform post-hoc tests because we only have two groups in our independent variable. However, if we had three or more groups, we would need to run post hoc tests. And I mention this here because I will mention it throughout the tutorial, as sometimes you will need to run post hoc tests when conducting a one-way MANOVA. Now, here you can see that I have SPSS open. Here in the first column is the independent variable type of program. It is a nominal variable, as the variable can be qualitatively classified into discrete separate categories. Type of program here has two categories, online and traditional, coded as one and two. One is online and two is traditional. In columns two and three, you can see the dependent variables, connectedness and com learning community. The com classroom community scale published by Rovai measures the sense of community and is what is being used here. The instrument consists of two subscales, as I said, connectedness and learning community, which have been shown to be associated in the literature. The scores on each of these subscales range from 0 to 40, and as you can see, we have some students who are scoring, for example, 36 on learning community, but 19 on connectedness. So the scores for each case can range from 0 to 40 on each scale. Now that you understand the data set, let's run the one-way MANOVA. To do this, we're on the main menu, we are going to click Analyze, General Linear Model, and then Multivariate. We are going to first click the dependent variable Learning Community and use this arrow to move it over to the dependent variables box. We're going to do the same with Connectedness. And then we're going to click on the independent variable type of program and use the arrow to move it over to the fixed factor box. Now, if the independent variable type of program, as I said, had more than two groups, we would need to click on this post hoc button to select the post hoc analyses to evaluate the pairwise differences among the group means. However, um, we do not need to click that, so we're not going to click that. So we're going to move on to the next, well actually I'll go ahead and click it, um, click the post hocs. If we did have post hoc tests, here's what we would do. Um, in this fact, we would click on uh, the independent variable in this factors box and we would move it over to post hoc test. What you'll see happen then is that the equal variance assumed area as well as the equal variance not assumed area will illuminate. We would then proceed to choose a post hoc test for equal variance assumed, two keys is often used, and then also one when equal variance is not assumed. And what that means is our our uh, assumption of homogeneity of variance is violated. Um, we would then choose such a, something such as Dunit C or Games How. So in the post hoc analyses, if your Levine's tests demonstrate that the assumption of homogeneity of variance is not violated, then you could use two keys. If it is violated, you use either Games How or Dunit C. However, as I noted, post hocs, we don't need to use post hocs here, so I'm going to click Cancel. Now we are going to go ahead and move on. We're going to click Options, and we're here, we're presented here with the Multivariate Options dialog box. First, we're going to click the Independent Variable Types of Program and use the arrow to move it over to the Display Means 4 box. Since we're interested in comparing the main effect, we're going to tick Main Effect. Next, we're going to move down to the display area. Now, in the display area, we are going to tick a few things. First of all, we're going to tick Descriptive Statistics, so that our output includes our descriptive statistics, such as our mean and standard deviation. Next, we're going to click Estimate Estimates of Effect Size, so that our output includes partial eta squared, the effect size. When you're writing for most journals or 
graduate projects, um, you do need to report effect size. You also need to oftentimes report observed power. So we're go so that our output includes observed power, we're going to tick observed power. If we had not previously run our homogeneity of variance assumption test, boxes M and Levine's, we would click homogeneity test so that our output includes both Levine's and boxes M. So as I said, so that the assumption of homogeneity of variance and homogeneity of variance or covariance variance could be assessed. And since we are conducting social science research, we are going to use the convention of 0.05 as our significance level. So we're going to leave the default of 0.05 there. We're going to go ahead and click continue. Then we'll click OK and SPSS will produce the output for the one-way MANOVA.